my gosh! <laughs> They're not saying boring now. <laughs> Hello. Oh man, that was worse than last time. That wasn't even with on Grandpa's bottom. Grandpa's sitting on it. Okay. This is John and Alan, um, and my mom doing a walkout together. And I call them the lost video game boys. So yeah, yes. I'm recording you. I'm a weirdo, baby, son. Okay, that's it. See how weird they are.
biggest bubbles. Oh man, you know, you like the bubble man. So I love big bubbles. Okay, guys. Do you do a little bit I'm the popper. Hey, no! Good job, Jane. That's like a magic wand. Oh, there's a ton. And there's Austin. He's running and catching them. He's using the force to slay those bubbles. Okay, Savannah, let me see your biggest bubbles. You ready to do biggest bubbles? Whoa, those are good. Let me see your biggest bubbles. Daddy, look at my biggest bubbles. Daddy, look. Good job. Whoa, Daddy, those are good bubbles. Daddy, Susan, do you have any big bubbles? No, Jake just proposed it. Yes. What? was up there watching me walk up there and I remember talking to him. No. Well, he oh, asked me out. He asked you out? Just right there. For first the meeting? Day, yeah. For the next day it was a Whoa. swimming. Oh. What? You didn't do that, Dad. <laughs> I know. Well, Dad, Dad that's so funny. She didn't even have a uh, swimsuit. swimsuit, so she had to borrow. And friend. guess who I borrowed it from? One Her of my other girlfriends. Faye Peterson. No. Oh. Swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Mom won the swimsuit competition. <laughs> oh my God. So that's amazing that you just started talking to her without even. Yeah, yeah. just. No, what happens is he's talking to other girls and then he sees Mom and then it's like the music starts playing in the background. <laughs> and he turns and like just the other girls are like, what? And then walk off. <laughs> Yeah, there was one girl yeah, in there, like she her. really liked me, and then she, she wanted to be, she told me she wanted to be the mother of my children. That's a little forward. Well, I mean, it was yeah. stunning, but we dated quite a bit, but wow. I just didn't feel good about it. Yeah. Was mom your first kiss? Uh, <laughs> you kissed your wife for the first kiss. time across the altar. Yeah. <laughs> mom, would you say he knew how to kiss? Yeah, he knew how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know how to eat those little sandwiches with mayonnaise yeah. on it. Yeah, you didn't have yeah, like, face sandwiches. I know. So you didn't yeah. eat them? Sometimes when you try to make a first some, like a good impression, you'll like still do something that I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that for anything. <laughs> there was some, what else was it with it that was really good? The, Banana slush punch. Yeah, that was that was, that was real popular to make back in the seventies. Oh, I just made that for mutual activity, not for me. <laughs> Good job, Jen. <laughs> I should have put that in my cookbook. Yeah, maybe I did. I don't remember. 
Nice. So anyway, it turns. But he took me swimming, and then that no, night he asked me out never. to go hiking in the mo real early in the morning up in the mountains. <laughs> Just us two. Can you believe that? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And I had a roommate that says what you need to do because girls always know when you go out to a dance they're always nice. But what you need to do is stay out late one night on a date and then the next day get up very early in the morning and do something really tough like do a hike up in the mountains or something like that and see if they have a tendency to complain or anything. So you, you got to see them in their, their swimsuit and you got to take them up and <laughs> <laughs> this is how you, this is right. you're <laughs> And I got lost and we weren't quite sure of where we were coming down. It was a little cottonwood can or no big cottonwood can but we ended up getting back and then at church we were both sunburned. <laughs> so everyone knew that you'd been together. That's right. Well, what was your hoodie face? Yeah. How did Faye take it? Was she trying to compete? Is she, a, oh, she I'll, give you, I'll give you nine children. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that night, well, we were up there where there was a snow field. Yeah, we were up in a What? He told you he loved you Whoa, on the second day? Yeah. Gag. <laughs> no, up in the mountains when we were hiking, they, there was snowpack up there, and I just had on some little canvas tennis shoes. And I, my feet were so cold. And we didn't have on any jackets or anything, but we did get sunburned. But, Dad, I think I took my shoes off, and didn't you rub them to <laughs> get them so they'd warm up? Oh. We were down this one slope, <laughs> I gotta remember. And, we, and, and you couldn't see all the way down. It, it dropped off a little bit. You couldn't tell that you're getting down to a point where the, there was a sheer drop off, or as it turned out, it was just a, a gradual. I had her go ahead to see it. So, I mean, just to see it. <laughs> if it was a drop off, <laughs> I mean, I'd get myself hold out and say, "Hey, Faye, got the pink to do tonight." <laughs> you're not recording this, are you? <laughs> so I love. Um, on when Carla got married, and didn't we decorate your guys' car? And it said like eight kids and counting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember that. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, so it was, um, it was meant to be. I knew he was the right one. So how long did you date before you got married? So we were together that two weeks. <laughs> and then he came back. We were together all of September. And he oh, all of September. <laughs> So I saw him then, and then we got married in February. Wow. So that's like a month, so, like less than two months that so we were together. you know then? I mean, what was But the... all summer, we wrote letter, a letter each week. We used a marriage counseling book, not a counseling, but a marriage book. Uh, but I remember the teacher them. said, okay, now, you had a guy and a girl in the class come up and stand and hold each other's hands and look in each other's eyes, and, and you're just both so handsome, beautiful. Okay, now a uh, little time forward a little bit. Uh, she's uh, got morning sickness, and I'll pretend like she's throwing up. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, just show that the glamour of marriage is you have challenges too. Yeah. One of our scariest ones was we went on, I think it was before Amy was born, wasn't it? We went on, a, we were working with the youth, and we went on a uh, an overnight activity. Snow activity. Snow activity. And when we got home that evening, the mother of this one girl says our daughter's got the German measles. And we that weekend was really sweaty. But then we called she called the doctor's office and from his test he'd done before, he said that she'd already had German measles, so she couldn't get it again. That's well, a we did tubing and everything. Was I pregnant yeah. then? When you pregnant, oh I think I think you were pregnant with Amy. That's really yeah. bad when you're pregnant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, he's been a good life. How did you deal with the challenges? I know that we weren't perfect kids, but uh, how did you? Well, I thought you were perfect, but then I've been learning things since uh, lately. About what uh, you, he's been calling the addicts. <laughs> you knew I was nodding down the insulation. <laughs> Jay Gunner. The saddest thing about with all our kids was that one day we were backing out to go to church, and all of a sudden we see the, wind, the curtains part, and Alan was looking. Aww. You'd forgotten. Oh, yeah. yes. Who is the one that lit the tennis balls on fire and played hockey? Ryan. That's awesome!